Davis. Teresa Davis right now, who's also awesome. Who is also awesome. And she's like the slam poet winner of every genre contest ever she ever enters. Every time. I, nobody can keep up with your shit but you. So I won't even try to. I'll just let you do it. Teresa Davis, y'all. Thank y'all. So weird to hold the mic. I got to hold it, huh? Okay. It is so weird. It's too phallic for me, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, my daughter is turning, my middle child is turning 22 this weekend. And, um, yeah, I'm old. Yeah, you didn't know that, did you? And she's not even the oldest. What? Um, and I wrote this poem um, a while back after a, a, a member of our community kind of lost his fucking mind. And, and I wrote it for my, my daughters to know what to look for so that they don't get caught up in a domestic violence type situation. And it is Do Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Uh, so I just want to keep that in everybody's head. But this poem is called For My Daughters. Daughters. If you should ever meet a man who promises you the world wrapped in kisses, lush green gardens, a platinum card, and the keys to all your dreams, let him know that you come wrapped in your own world, equipped with sensible things like paper, like pens, like the dreams you've achieved, so you amended them. That you come with lips made for more than just kissing in the gardens you ten feed your own belly and platinum cards off come wrapped in platinum lies. Tell them you are old school because your mama is old school and you are more than willing and able to put your cash money where your mouth is and keys where well, they just make a lot of noise. Your dreams will never be locked down and you will never be fully tethered to anything except your own destiny's daughters. If you should ever meet a man wrapped in poet tongue who wants you to believe you are his muse, writes you pretty poetry, leaves it under your pillow, metaphors you banquets that won't feed your soul, holds you accountable for his misgiving, your words against you, attempts to restrain your creativity because he has lost his perspective, let him know that your mother is a poet. That you are her muse, her reason for raising the sun each and every morning, letting the moon loose at night, and that your pillow is not a fucking paperweight. That it lives in your own house, that you allow him to visit when you want him there, and you need more than pretty words to feed your soul. And the women of our family are fueled by drive. And if his license is suspended, then his sorry ass will be walking. Only you hold yourself accountable for the things you do. And because your mother is who she is, even in those momentary loss of mind moments, girls between 20 and 25 tend to have she, your mother will hold you accountable. And because of that fact, you mostly fly right. And if anyone tries to control your creativity, well, the person who attempts this insane feat may as well put his head, put his ass, <laughs> sorry, put his kisses, sorry ass, goodbye, put his head between his legs and kisses, sorry ass, goodbye, because after she, your mother, dispenses her own rough justice on him, she'll be back for her daughters, because that's what mothers do. My beautiful daughters. I cannot teach you what to look for. Deception has gotten clever in this age of technology and layered lies, but I can show you what to never lose sight of, never lose sight of yourself. And any man who cannot love you for who you are in those moments that you are, your faults and your divinity, let him know that mothers and daughters, especially this mother and daughter team, well, we don't have such foolishness in our, in our space. And if they fix their lips to ask you why, Send their trifling asses to me. Let them know that I love you like a combined 32 hours of natural childbirth and no man is gonna love you like that. Word. That's love.